movement leader Kalonzo Musyoka now says the candidature of Azimio leader Raila Odinga to the African Union Commission chairmanship will bring back Pan-Africanism as envisioned by the forefathers of African unity. Kalonzo says it brings to life the vision of the fathers of Pan-Africanism, the late presidents Kwame Nkrumah of Ghana, Jamal Abdul Nasser of Egypt, Mzee Jomo Kenyatta among others. He says he had the continent realize the African Union that time then when would now be celebrating the United States of Africa, a vision that was so passionately carried by former Libyan brother leader Mohammed Gaddafi. That's why a candidate of Raila Odinga will bring in those memories of Pan-Africanism, of Africans being, remember, Mwalimu Nyerere actually accepted. He said he made a mistake because Nkrumah had wanted African Union immediately. Remember the famous President Nkrumah, the father of Pan-Africanism, along with others, that time, Abdel Nasser in Egypt, Mze um, Kenyatta and others came on board, Nyerere, had we realized African Union that time, we'll be talking of, of United States of Africa. But a gentleman again, Barack Obama, admitted they made a mistake in Libya. The just killing of brother leader who had this vision about Canava standing army in Africa and, and monetary union. He had done such a big thing in, in Libya. Today, Libya is a mess because of interference. Therefore, when countries of non-aligned movements stood together and say they uphold the principles of non-interference in internal affairs or member states, that's a cardinal principle in diplomacy. Right, we're taking a short